to God that he has given to us another great opportunity to share with you. My name is Pastor Albert Kipieko. We are coming to you from Christ Rema Church Bukwa. Located opposite uh, the former prisons. And uh, we are at the former court premises. We are welcome to fellowship with us. And uh, we are grateful that God is doing great things in your life. We know that mighty things are happening in your life. Before we can continue, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this time as we share your word. We pray for utterance and we are praying for our listeners that their hearts will be open that their minds will be open to receive the word and that our lives will not remain the same. Father, we bless you today. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Today we are sharing the word which says he is coming again. Jesus is coming again. Did you know that Jesus is coming again? Or you 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 may not have thought about it. I'm here to remind you. I'm here to let you know that Jesus, who walked here 2,000 years ago, is coming back again. Now, he is not coming to preach the word because we are the ones preaching now. The Bible says he is coming for a church without blemish or spot or ringo or such, thing, or such things as it is. So we are taking from the book of Matthew, chapter 16, and verse 27. The Bible says, For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. The same Jesus who walked this earth for 33 years will come back again. At first he came as a lamb of God to die and pay for our sins. The second time he is not coming to die but to take those who have received him and are waiting for his coming. I said earlier on he is not coming to preach. He is, he is not coming to preach the gospel because he has entrusted that work to the ministers who are now preaching the word. He is coming to take to himself a church a people prepared and ready for him. Now, the Bible describes for us how his coming shall be. The Bible says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. With the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ shall rise fast. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with this word. That is 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 16. 
to 18. He's telling us Jesus Christ will come in the cloud with the shout of the angel with the trumpet of God and he's saying that dead in Christ shall rise and then which we which are alive, we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with, with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord. That is a very powerful word. We shall always be with the Lord. He's telling us. This is at the time. Which the Bible describes as a time that no man knows. The time when Jesus shall come back. He shall come and sound the trumpet. Now, those who died with Christ, I want to let you know that they are not dead because at the time when Jesus comes, when the trumpet, the last trumpet shall be blown, the Bible says they shall rise. They will be the first to meet with the Lord. And we which are alive, the Bible says together we shall be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. It is also clear that this day will come unannounced. They will not announce and say, you see, Jesus is coming next week. They will not say next month. They will not say next year. You see that? They will, he will come at the time when you do not know. It will be a surprise. A day and how that you do not know. Each one of us must prepare for this day. Prepare for this day does not mean... To preparing for this day does not mean that you are going to dress your best clothes. When you are preparing to receive a visitor, maybe, or if you are preparing to go for a journey, maybe you would put on the best clothes. But when I say prepare for the coming of Jesus, it does not mean that you're going to put on the best clothes. Or you're going to buy a shoe so that you're prepared for his coming. No. It means that you are going to stay on the word of God. And make sure that you serve him at all times. Most people waste their time in the things that do not matter at all in their lives. If you have not received salvation, it is a high time that you receive salvation. There is no better way to receive to better way to prepare for his coming. Apart from receiving salvation. That is the best way to prepare for the coming of Jesus. If Jesus comes back and finds you not saved, it means that you will not be ready. And that means you will be left behind. You cannot postpone accepting Jesus into your life because you do not know the day nor the how he is he will be coming now when we read in second peter chapter 3 and verse 10 Second Petro 3 and verse 10. The Bible says, But the day of the Lord will come as a sieve in the night. In the, in the which the heavens shall pass away. With a great noise. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. 
the fever and heat, there will be heat that will melt the things. Oh, my sake, your mouth, and you get you to go like a The earth also and the wax the that are therein shall be burned up. The gore that will show that you don't go like a massage, ruin, and yep, and you get charanda. It will be like the days of Noah. Masaki, they will shake up Noah. Where some people were drinking. Others were marrying and given to marriage. Whereas those things may be in life, he does not add to your eternity. Prepare for his coming. Marriage may be in life, but marriage in heaven will not matter for you. Drinking is not an issue. If something is going to destroy your eternity, it is better that you stop it and to begin to work on your eternity. This is the word. You know, in the days of Noah, we are told, you see, Noah, Noah said, the rain is coming. The rain is coming. The rain is coming. There was a lot of sunshine. People say, how can Noah say the rain is coming? The rain has always been there. How can Noah say the rain will come? But you see, the people realized that Noah was saying the truth when the rain had started. You see that? And it is too late. It was too late. They could not do anything at that time. You know, it took them by surprise. And that is what the Bible says. He said, just like the days of Noah. Just like the days when people are drinking, when people are marrying, people are doing many other things. People are planning. People are going into business. People are traveling on the road. Many other things were happening. And the rain began. He said, that's how it will be in the second coming of Jesus Christ. So I want to ask you right now, it is better for you to prepare for the coming of Jesus. That is what the Bible tells us. Now when you read in Revelation chapter 1 and verse 7 the Bible says behold comes behold he comes with the clouds and every eye shall see him and they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. He says he is coming with the clouds. He's talking about the angels. The angels are referred to as the cloud of heaven. He's coming with the angels. He is coming. Another man is saying, Behold, you you see, he is coming. Behold, he is coming. He is coming in the clouds. And every eye shall see him. Even those who are not born again, they shall see him. And what will happen? He says, and even those which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth, shall wail because of him. Even so, a man, he is coming back. He is coming back. When you see him, and you are not received him, it means you will cry, because they told you the message. They preached you that is coming but you never had it you never took to heart you thought that they were joking you thought that this was something for mad people you thought this was a kind of religion you saw this is kind of a false story that was made up by somebody but the Bible says behold every eye will see him every eye will see him 
He said, even those that pierce him, when they see him, they will begin to cry because they pierce him, because they were against him, because they never believed in him. You need to receive now. You need to accept now. You need to understand now. You need to hear today. There is no other day. This is the day the Lord has made. The day that you hear the word like this is the right day for you. The day that the message comes to you like this is the right day for you. God knew that at one time a man will be preaching over the radio. A man will be preaching over the waves. And you will hear the word. And this is the same word that God has brought your way so that you may know that he is coming again. And when you know that he is coming again, you will accept him. You will receive him. You will trust in him. You will prepare for his coming. Whether you are born again or not, prepare for his coming. If you are born again, you don't need to be found when you are not ready for him. Someone asked one day a question. He said, I'm born again. If Jesus came and it is a Sunday or it is a day for fellowship and I did not go for fellowship, will I go to heaven? The answer is no. You will not go to heaven if Jesus came at the time when he should have found you in church and you are not in church. You will not go. The Bible shows us that you cannot go. You see, the Bible says there were ten virgins. Five were wise. And five were foolish. He said the five that were wise, they carried extra oil. The five that were foolish, they did not carry extra oil. And so he said they all went to meet the bridegroom. And now when they went, he said they fell asleep. Because the bridegroom delayed to come. The Bible says at midnight. A cry, a shout went on. I said, behold, the bridegroom has come. And he said, they all woke up from sleep. He said, and the five were wise. They went to, they, they, they had extra oil. The five were foolish. They dreamed their candles. They dreamed their lambs. And they saw that there was no oil. Then they began to ask those who had carried extra. He said, please, would you help us? Would you give us an extra, some oil? The five who are wise say, we do not have enough for us. What you're going to do is that go and buy and then you come. The Bible says as they went, the bride, this one entered in with the bridegroom and the door was locked. They locked and the other ones after they went on, they came and knocked. I said, please would you open for us? Please would you open for us? They were told, no, we we do not know, I do not know you. The bridegroom say, I do not know you. What does that mean? They had come late. They were not in the right place at the right time. They were not opening their ears. They were not understanding the instructions. They were not following what was required of them. And he said, many shall be like that. Some will be like the foolish. Others will be like the wise. And that is the reason for this message. Is to prepare you. So that you are not among the foolish. So that you are not left behind. But you may prepare for his coming. That you may get ready. So that when Jesus comes. You may go with him. Because that is what he wants you to be. 
You see that? Yeah, Are you listening to me right now? We are reading from the book of Acts. The book of Acts. Chapter 1. We are reading from verse 11. The Bible says, Which also said, Ye men of Galilee, Why stand you gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, Which is taken up from you, Into heaven, Shall so come in like manner, As ye have seen him go, Into heaven, He's talking about, the time so when Jesus ascended to heaven, the Bible says that as he was talking to his disciples, as he was talking with them, the Bible says he was he was raised up. He began, he began to ascend. And then the disciples were seeing him going. They saw it was one meter. Before they could sit five meters, ten meters, twenty. Jesus was going. He was going. He was going. And ten. He entered the clouds and they could not see him anymore. Then as they kept on seeing up, these two men appeared to them and said to them, you men of Galilee, why are you still standing here looking up to heaven? He said, this same Jesus, this same Jesus, whom you, you have seen going up like this, in the same manner, he will come back. You see that? He says, and as they were looking steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold two men by them with white apron. These were angels. They came and talked to the disciples and said, you disciples, don't look up. Just go and do what he has told you. This same Jesus who has been taken up like this, he shall come back in the same way. And so here we are saying, Jesus is coming back. He is coming back again. Get ready. Mama, get ready. You child, get ready. You girl, get ready. You boy, get ready. Get ready. Whatever you are, whatever you do, get ready for his coming. To get ready means if you are not received Christ, begin to receive Christ. That's what it means. If you are born again, get serious with the word of God. Do the will of God. Serve the Lord the way he wants you to serve him. As you get ready like that, when he comes, he will take you up. Remember, it doesn't matter. Even if you die and he has not come, even if someone died and he has not come, it does not matter. The Bible says, when he shall come, those who died, when they were ready for him, when they were prepared for him, him. when he shall come he said they shall rise up they shall be changed they shall be given a new body a body that can never die again and he said we who are alive and remain he said we shall be changed at the twinkling of an eye we shall be changed we shall put on a new body 
and we shall go up into heaven to meet with the Lord. And that is the message I brought to you today. That is the word that God has prepared for you today. Whatever you are listening from, if you have not received Jesus, I want to pray with you right now. I want you to speak his words. If you would like to give your heart to Jesus, I want you to speak these words after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. Be the Lord of my life. Be the Lord. Be the Lord. For I believe that you died and rose again. From this day, I am a child of God. I am born again in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you are not born again. What I want you to do is to Come to Christ Rema Church. If you can come within the locations, come on Sunday and introduce yourself to us. We'll be glad to receive you. If you are unable to come to church, to Christ Rema Church, I want you, probably maybe you are far. I want you to look for a Bible-believing church. A child that believes in the Holy Spirit. And begin to attend there. And be, become a serious believer. Otherwise, for this moment, I want to pray for those who may be sick. Those who may be having challenges. Father, in the name of the Lord, that loved one that is not feeling well, I command the sickness and the pain to depart out of their bodies now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke the devil. I rebuke the demons. Depart out of their life now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Be healed now from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Be healed. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. I pray for those who need finances that God will provide for you now. God will open doors for you. In the name of Jesus. I pray for those whose families are not stable that you will be settled in your families. I pray for the children who are at school that God will strengthen them. He will provide for them. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. And until the next time, may the good Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. God go show me fire. The fire burning me. The God of Elijah, praise go show me fire. The God of Sanda, get my stay on my land. God of Sanda, the God of fire, praise go show me fire. Fire burning me.
Ita muli nyalio Osani te mukama Osani te Osani te tendo Omuli roka kwa komuli ro Omuli roka kwa komuli ro Omuli roka kwa komuli ro Nelo Nelo Omuli roka kwa komuli ro Omuli roka kwa komuli ro Wake Wewale Experience. 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 Experience.